Slide na slide number three. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Good evening, Ago panel. Should I say good morning? Okay. Um, what we are seeing in that illustration or the image is unemployment, specifically uh, a specific uh, drawing or illustration of a uh, caricature, which is a fresh graduate. Um, he's asking, or she's asking, what will I do now? Going in a crooked line with an arrow. Oh, thank you. This is not only very timely because it has been long overdue. We have this not only for several times ever since when um, I, I was begun. Um, I was born 1975. Actually, I graduated AB Mass Communication. And that thing um, is not new for me because everybody was asking what will happen after next. Would I be able to practice what I have graduated? Would I be able to exercise the courses that I attended to? But definitely, it's not what we expect in life. So that is why the lack of unemployment actually lies in the government programs that we have. It wouldn't lie not only, of course, within the nation of a specific citizen. But here is the option, because there is a pros and cons. Then what has the young name? Kung hindi ka madiskarte, kahit gano'n ka katalino, kung laude ka manusuma, kung laude, hindi ka makakatrabaho at hindi ka makakahanap talaga na ikakaunlad mo sa buhay. So this comes up next, kung paano ka talaga maapilidad pagdating sa buhay mo. So I should say, it's not always a question because you graduated. Remember, your parents have struggled, hardship, just for you to graduate for your college. So it's high time for you because you were all well equipped from graduating college and it's time for you to find what's your really, where did you excel? Kasi hindi naman lahat ng lawyer nagiging lawyer. Hindi naman lahat ng nurse nagiging nurse. Marami na sa call center. So it isn't. At this point of time, it comes up and boils down to one scenario. The lack of unemployment, listen very carefully, mga nasty, the lack of employment lies in every graduate's hands. Whether you graduated or not, it is your future and it is you who will be fired to employ yourself whether you have a boss or not. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number one. Number eight. as we have a candidate who is also part of the journalism or a journalist, a broadcaster. So, in my interpretation, this illustration does imply that certain people, especially people in power, are controlling those people in media. That is why we have this term of um, media biases that is being um, imposed such broadcasting centers here in the Philippines. And I believe, as a youth, we have to be critical of what we are reading, what we are listening, and what we are watching from the different social media platforms when it comes to news and information. Because there, are, there will always be people who will control what information that we are reading and what we are learning. But we have our mind, we have our heart for us to understand those different words and messages for us to judge whether what is right and what is wrong. Remember that we are studying, we are developing as human beings. Kaya kahit merong mga tao mapagsamantala, kailangan nating labanan ang misinformasyon. Kailangan nating labanan ang mga tao ang tanging hanggang lang sa ating lipunan ay kasamaan. At magagampanan natin yan sa pagkasama-sama at pagtutunungan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Slide number two. and pro 
problems that we are facing right now. And actually our world and even our country is experiencing a lot of obstacles right now. I believe that mental health issues is something that we should focus into. Because it is, it is very important because if your body depends on your brain and your body cannot move without the function of your brain. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment of time, I would like to be an inspiration to all of you because I have been through mental issues uh, last pandemic. But I was able to get back on my feet and I was able to overcome every problem and issue that I have in life. And if I did, so can you. So every morning, thankful because we have unlimited chances and unlimited opportunities in life. So thank God and just be grateful for everything that we are achieving because tomorrow is another day. Thank you very much. Slide number four. Slide number four. Alam niyo, usong-uso ito ngayon, lalo na especially yung nagkaroon ng pandemic. The online education. Pero may kasunod. Rich versus poor. This is very sad for me to see this being compared together because I think it's about time. Para una, para ang edukasyon ay hindi na babase sa kung ano ang laman ng bulsa And from prevention, we 
and also connect ourselves with the latest technology that all of us can receive from the Department of Health. It only comes down from having to know what is the right way that can protect you. And it's all about education and proper communication. And lastly, let us all think that God is with us. Because if we know that God is with us, remember, He will always protect us. And for those brothers and sisters who have this kind of virus, let us not discriminate them. We will never be infected. If only we know the truth and the proper communication, proper data and information, then we can propel everybody and become one and united so that we can resolve this problem. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much, candidate number eight, Miss Catriona. Thank you so 